<clears throat> Hi everyone. Um, I'm back. Okay, I'm so sorry I haven't posted a video in so long. I tried to keep you guys updated like over the fall what was going on. I actually, um, I just rubbed this Biosense stuff under my eyes. I'm supposed to get rid of bags. It actually works really good in the morning. But anyways, I'm up late from last night. Um, anyways, I try to keep you guys updated. Nothing was really going on with law school until recently. I had been applying to all these schools, trying to transfer from Howard. And because I lost my scholarship, um, a lot of things happened over like the end of last year. My uncle died, who was really, really close to died at the end like a day before my final exams which was like where most of my grades came through and you know with law school you don't really get you don't get a whole bunch of grades like papers and like attendance grades and all this stuff and the, it's one grade usually and 100 percent of that primarily is your exam so that was a huge deal that like i had this really like crazy situation happen to me a couple of days before my exam, I missed my uncle's funeral. He was like a second dad to me. So anyways, I think I may have talked about this in a prior video. But anyways, so I, I you know, I was working. I've been taking a year off and I had been desperately trying to get in back into school. I wanted to go back to my number one choice, which was in Atlanta at Georgia State. I did not get to um, get into that school, even though they let me in before. I was denied. Now, here's the thing you need to know about transferring with law schools. It is not like undergrad where once you get in, it's easier to go to another school. It's actually the reverse. So if you try to get into law school or try to get into another law school, um, like say you want to move or whatever, like you life situation, you have to go to another state, please be in the top 20% of your class because most schools don't want to take you unless they know you're doing really well. And I don't know if that's just because it's hard to like maneuver with school or they feel like you're going to be like out of sorts and it'll be difficult for you to catch up with what's going on or if it's just an elitist thing. Because the thing is, is top 10%, you get to start out somewhere like a small state school and maybe go to Georgetown or go to NYU. That is actually what happened with one of my friends that I know. He's actually a music producer and he has a, a degree, a law degree from NYU. And he started at a small um, state school in California and then ended up transferring to NYU. But he was super smart. He could have gone anywhere in the beginning. But um, anyways, so um, I was applying, applying, applying. I couldn't find a school to take me that I wanted to go to. And um, sorry. Um, I actually, there was one school that was like willing to take me and it was in Atlanta and I was like, oh gosh, I'll be back home where I was, where I'm comfortable. But life happened. I ended up being in Phoenix where I'm still at now and I couldn't just like move again easily because I had taken a job to try to like, you know, catch up with my finances from not working for a year and also because it's expensive to move. And I bought furniture here. I, you know, planned to kind of stay here for a year and see how it went. And um, so anyways, through my research, I found an incredible thing. And I think this is wonderful for people who are like me, non-traditional students who have worked out in the, in the corporate world, maybe had 10 years of experience. What I did is I actually went to... Um, I, I did my research online and I found out several schools, which my school, my new school that I'll be going to actually um, started, it was the first program of its kind, but it's a hybrid law degree, which allows you to work full time and do law school online and you only go to the actual school to do your in-person stuff where you would do like your mock trials and you would do like you know trying out for like law review and stuff like that you still get to do the same kind of experience except um you don't actually you're not there you do your homework assignments online you you watch um classes online 
they're not um they're they're not uh synchronous so you don't have to like be at home at a certain time to watch them and you just go on and log on and you watch it in the like videos and you do assignments online you still have to complete them within a timely matter like every week the assignments are due other than that you just go to the school for once per semester and you may maybe twice if you have a special situation like me I did not pass crim law, so that was my thing. I told you I was going to keep y'all updated with that. I didn't pass it, and there was a big issue with Howard, and they were saying the grade was wrong, and then they said the grade was right. Anyways, I got a D in that class, and it's a whole mess I don't want to go into, but basically, so now my new school, they accepted me with a scholarship. I got a 30% scholarship, but I have to take crim law again, and which is fine because I didn't really – feel like I learned anything in that class because my teacher was all over the place but um because of that I have to split my cohort cohort um so that would be like kind of the same thing as like a section like you know law school you have sections um you might have six sections or you might have three depending on how big your school is so um I actually I want to say um yeah, so I have split into two sections. So this time, uh, for the coming semester in, uh, that starts in August, my school is in Minnesota, actually, which is crazy because I lived in Minnesota before for work, and this school is in St. Paul, which is the city I was very close to. I was in the suburb of St. Paul when I lived there, so I'm familiar with the area, which is kind of cool because I'll be going there a lot over the next two, two to two and a half years. Um, and so this school, so I have to go in August, but because I split my cohort, I have to go twice. I have to go in August and then I have to go again in October. So this is really good news, you guys, and I will keep you updated. It's an amazing thing. This type of, type of, um, this type of hybrid law degree is going to change the game for older people who want to have that law degree, who want to have that experience. And I'm actually now working in a field where I'm doing commercial injury um, claims, which I'm doing all kinds of interesting stuff. And here's the best part. The new school, which is Ham Mitchell Hamlin, they actually specialize in health law because Minnesota um, is headquarters for United Healthcare and a lot of other hospital systems. And so this was just like perfect for me. Everything happens for a reason. This was just like my uncle up there helping me out. I know he was and looking out for me and like helping me find this. It was just like ordained. I know it. Um, but anyway, so I'm working in healthcare with my with injuries and attorneys and things like that. And I'm doing big, big and better things like very interesting types of injuries that I deal with and do, dealing the research with that. And then I'm also still doing, cover this shirt. This is not what I'm working, by the way. Um, but anyways, I, uh, I will be doing great things. And um, I'm so glad that I can continue law school. And I'm glad to share this. And keep in touch, keep, keep, keep keep posted keep watching the uh youtube because i will be posting things in august when i am there at the school when i am actually in minnesota so it's gonna be really good hopefully i'll get with this editing thing so i can actually clip some stuff together because i know it's just me talking but i'm giving you guys good information so i hope you're taking notes and, and what have you but anyway that's all for now um love y'all i'm so happy that you know, you guys have reached out to me on Instagram, on, you know, and comments. And I, I want to give you all the information you need. Feel free to ask me questions. I am here to just be a source of help to all of those, you know. And it's not just black people. It's just not just women. But those are the ones that reach out to me. But anybody feel free to, re to um, ask me a question and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, thanks again for following and subscribing and, and liking and reaching out. Um, love y'all. Keep you posted. Bye.